welcome back everyone. It's Stray Faye. You're with another episode of Harvest Moon DS Cute. Let's go to bed right away. Begin our day. It's a Wednesday, 22nd, which means it's Dr. Trent Day and it's Kai's birthday. So I'm hoping the gift I give him uh, will get us to green heart with him. And I think that's what we need to... That's what heart level we need to be able to go out with a boy on the fireworks festival, which is on the 24th. And I want to go with a, with a bachelor this drive instead of hanging out with Cassie and Patrick. Not that I have a problem with Cassie and Patrick, it's just that we we spent time with him last year. And now, and now I want to do so. I want to spend time with someone else. And maybe next year I'll go with like a different boy. Don't think I'll go with every single boy though. Kai is definitely a viable option. Because... Um, yeah, he's a mineral town boy, and I don't have to worry about getting his heart... heart right to up... up too fast. Okay, so we got some more strawberries, it looks like. These are all level 8. Which means I should upgrade them. Chop down section here. It's better strawberries. Better, stronger than ever before. Alright, let's water the rest of the shenanigans down here as well. Dab my forehead. And we got some more yams. Pretty sure this, this section down here will be ready. Ready for me tomorrow. Might be able to grow like one more lot of yams. Before the game is. Oh. oh. Ah, brain. Can't think right now. Before um, fall arrives, I'm not sure if I'm, I'm gonna like. plant a bunch of crops. I might just keep the fishing team rolling just so I can get that requirement out of the way. Might as well just finish unlocking uh, the fishing team. Okay. Ooh, we got the mayonnaise maker. Yo, I brought the mayonnaise maker that you asked for. I put it inside of the maker set shed. See ya. All right, so now we can make mayonnaise. Although um, I don't really have, I don't really have uh, different sized eggs to to really make the different sized mayonnaise I need to ship out. <laughs> That's the way it is, I guess. Alright, Dr. Trent, I have way too much milk. <laughs> have a small bottle. Is this from the ranch? I love fresh milk. Thanks for sharing it. Since there's great meals. And... Give this pineapple to Kai. A birthday present? Why you thanks. Probably should have put on the love bingle. But yeah, he just like went all the way up to green. <laughs> He is good to go out to the fireworks festival with. That's good. At least we'll have a date this year. Right, today's also Wednesday, which means we do need to set up um, the event with Sky. We can specifically get his yellow heart event starting from 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. on a Wednesday. Pretty big time gap. It's kind of odd that you can activate it earlier or later on in the day, rather. Alright, gift to the heart of heart of a scottus. Toodles. And let's get watered as well. Jeez, tomatoes, you are growing so slowly. <laughs> yeah, I think I think once these are harvested, like that's it. Like, that's all the tomatoes I can grow on this plot this season. They're just they're just not a fast growing crop. Oh well, I'll put them back down in the basement, I suppose. Okay, so I can give a gift to Leia. I have a feeling we're gonna get her to blue really soon. Can I have it, Milan? Thank you, I'm so pleased. Hi, Milan, what's up? Nothing much, chicken butt. I'm just playing this game. I don't mind. Duke, let's get to what we usually do, right? We gave a gift to Kai, Dr. Trent. That's 
the important thing to do today, and now we just have to activate an event at 11 a.m. That will be our priority. <laughs> Today be a very lazy day for me. I'm so glad I get like three days off. I don't know why I picked up the cat. I just felt like petting the cat. I'm so glad I have three days off though in a row. Hoping my body can recover. Luckily I don't have those like sharp aches and pains I had like during the holidays. Like that's all recovered, but I definitely have like an overall muscle fatigue going on. It's not this is not painful. <laughs> Ultra painful. Just think of it as like getting old. Although I think the worst pain I've ever been in, like my muscle muscle wise, <laughs> was actually when I took a horse riding class. Um, it was like a college horse riding class, and I was like, I actually did horse riding before, but I did English style. And this was like, oh, we're gonna do western style. We like barely rode the horses. <laughs> it was mostly just like saddling the horse, like brushing and then saddling the horse. And I cannot saddle the horse because it was a western style saddle and that was like 40 to 50 pounds. I'm like, I can't lift this over my head on a trail horse. Like, please someone help me. And like the teacher would not help, would not help me. <laughs> and would not allow anyone else to help. I was like, can I just write English? Um, the saddles are much lighter and I know how to write English. And he's like, no, it's not safe. You need special training to write on the English saddle. I was like, but I've taken English writing classes. <laughs> Please, I know how to ride the horse. Ugh, it was just like, I don't know, like horse people? Are, like very prideful and they're just very weird people because they think they know like everything about horses and usually they're just full of crap because <laughs> uh yeah the typical horse person is just like a rich white girl whose daddy has bought them a horse <laughs> sorry to say that like no offense but total offense like that's if you see like a class of like horse people that's who you get <laughs> and just like just because your daddy bought you a horse doesn't mean you know everything about horses <laughs> like just because I have a cat doesn't mean I know everything about cats or just because I own a tortoise doesn't mean I know everything about tortoise like ownership does not automatically make you an expert but yeah like those people are like super prideful <laughs> Like, even if you called them out on their mistakes, they would just, like, get mad and ind indignant. Like, can you be, like, the least bit humble? And, like, more compliant to, like, different information? Like, this- like, even a vet will tell them, like, like, oh, this is what's wrong with your horse. Like, you need to give them this, and they'd be like, no, I know better. <laughs> I'm not a horse girl. <laughs> I like horses. They're powerful creatures. But, yeah. Like, I don't own a horse, so. Alright, so we milked all the cows. I don't know what to do with all this extra milk. <laughs> Need to, like, either save it or get rid of it. I don't know which one I should do. Like, I suppose I should save it? You know what? I'm gonna bend a bit. I'm gonna sell a stack. I'm gonna put a stack in storage. I, I don't think I need that much milk. Where to stuff this? I feel like I already have two stacks already. I don't know where to stuff this. I'm gonna have random bottles everywhere. Alright, I also have some useless eggplant seeds in here. plant the onions and the pumpkins. Both summer crops. I do need to add that to my shipping list. Eh, 
let's not worry about that too much. Alright, eggplants. Let's go there. Ooh, I totally forgot. I got to upgrade. Where's my maker shed? <laughs> upgrade my strawberries. Ooh, right. Here's the mayonnaise maker here. Just add eggs and out comes mayonnaise. One egg will get you some mayonnaise. Hey, look at that tiny bottle. Get that. I also need a duck one. Small size. Wait, what? <laughs> I guess it's all just mayonnaise? Like, I can do that again. Let me see. I picked the duck egg, right? Yeah, okay. It's all mayonnaise. There's no duckinase in this game. Probably just thinking of Animal Parade. Can you please stay? Thank you. Right, so I just need to get a, a medium and a large egg. I would have shipped all the egg products I need. This is the ground brain. I'm looking for a pink bag of seeds. Where are they? Oh, well, there they are. <laughs> One, two, three. <laughs> I'm dying. <laughs> two of this. Hopefully this doesn't affect the streak that you get. There we go. Definitely don't want to pass out. Also, I forgot to check the weather. Tomorrow's weather is sunny. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> that would have been bad to start off with. Like, oh, I forgot to check the weather. And restart the whole episode. All right, well, it's 11, so we do want to go to the inner inn. In between 11 and 3 on Wednesday, when you have Sky to Yellow Heart, you can activate the first part of his heart event. Hi, Milan, you came at a good time. What's going on, Ruby? We just got a note from the, that thief. <gasps> Gasp. A note from the thief? Rock, go away, we don't need your, <laughs> we don't need your input. Ruby, I heard you got a note from that thief. Oh, Nami's interested too. Uh oh. <laughs> Calm down. Here's what the note says. I'm to waltz into the inner end at 12 midnight with love. Phantom Sky. Okay. <laughs> Mackin' on Ruby now. Jeez. Waltz, huh? Sounds like a mighty bold thief. Ruby, you're being way too casual about this. Yeah, I mean, this is a thief we're dealing with. I say it's a perfect chance to catch him and get famous, Rock. No one cares about you getting famous. That's not what I meant. <laughs> Maybe you're right, but how are we supposed to catch him? We'll all help you, and Milan just came in. You'll help us too, right, Milan? Of course I'll come at Sky, baby. Hmm. <laughs> Will you, sweetie? That means a lot to us. Okay, but do you think we should ask anyone else? Plan seems like it would be useful for this sort of thing. Yeah, we got until midnight, so let's make sure we come up with a good one. That makes sense. Better take our time and molt this over. Alright, I guess... Rock is gonna go do some thinking, something that he doesn't do that often. <laughs> yes, let's remember to think. Milan, I hope we can make it here sometime between 10 and 12 tonight. Alright, I will try not to forget. We'll come here between 10 and 12. Can't wait for the thief to come tonight between 10 and 12. Ruby's just like, I really want to see a handsome young man right now. Tim isn't home. <laughs> Ready for a steamy romance between the innkeeper and the thief. Alright, we're gonna just take a bath while we wait. <laughs> while we wait and think. Alright. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. This will be our final Sky event. It'll be a little bit sad to, like, not get any more events with him. <laughs> He's, like, a fun character, but his... His only character interactions are kind of limited to, uh, his hard events. No other random events with him. I 
I'll exit the bath. Alright, what else has been going on? Still reading. Been reading Dubwing Silence. It's, just, it's got it's a sad book. Like, oh god, like hap it happening right after like the very ending of like Omen of the Stars. I'm just like, oh. I don't want to spoil things, but like all these characters are like gone. I mean, you kind of knew it was building up to that. Because, man, like, the first, like, books, just full of cats killing each other. <laughs> and then, like, it was just peaceful for, for, like, so many of the books after that. It's like, wow, like, no one's, no one's dying. Like, everyone's just, there's just so many cats that are just being born and, like, there's too many characters. <laughs> And you just kind of know, like, they're just building it up just to take take it away. <laughs> yeah, just reading that short novella since it happens right right after the ending of like the last book of the Omen of the Stars. Mm -hmm. I've been just been reading that while I wait for these videos to upload, <laughs> upload in process. Ooh, I also I'm gonna try to rewatch. Uh, the Shield Hero, the anime The Shield Hero. Uh, I forgot what like the full title is called. It's like the coming of the Shield Hero or something, but pretty popular anime. <laughs> it's so hard watching the first episode again because like you know what's gonna happen. I was like, you know the betrayal is coming, and you're just gonna see this like sweet innocent guy just get absolutely jaded by life. I was like, man. He was, like, such a, a good, happy guy, just willing to help, and then, like, he just un utterly betrayed by everyone. But it does ha kind of have a happy ending, because, like, like, eventually justice is served, and, like, it just becomes all that sweeter. It's because of, like, all the bitterness that has been just swirling around, like, throughout all the episodes. And then it's like, finally, sweet justice. And yeah, still fooling around in World of Warcraft. <laughs> Someone suggested I should, I should try streaming. <laughs> try streaming when I play. I don't know, like, maybe casual play, but then again, like, I get so distracted when I, like, play games. Like, I need to have, like, multiple things running in the background, so, I, like, I think it'd be very distracting. And, like, I'm always kind of, like, pausing and getting up. This is, seems, like, very daunting about streaming, is, like, you have to sit there for hours trying to be entertaining. <laughs> and, like, if you're shifting around or, like... Just kind of flatlining, like trying to rest, like people find that boring and they'll, they'll usually leave. It it does help when there's like actually people like watching and interacting because like you have that back and forth, but like when you don't have that and you're just talking into outer space, it gets very hard to try to do that for six hours. And like I, yeah, I'm a very antsy person. Maybe if I had like more free time. Yeah, like, I definitely try to, like, get as much pleasure as I can <laughs> from, like, the free time that I do have. Just, like, trying to stuff it with as much stuff as I can do. As much stuff I can watch. Alright, uh, yes, we do. We are giving a- no, wait, no, we're not giving a gift to Sky, actually. We're meeting him at the end. It's not a regular day. Alright. Let's do, let's do this. Where's Ruby? Where's everybody? It's the thief, it's the Phantom Sky. Guys, where is he? Oh no, we bumped into him. <laughs> I don't have much time tonight. Could you sort of look the other way? I, I never saw you were, you're going to jail! I was like, no, the correct answer is option one. 
Say we never saw him. I never saw you. Really? You'll cover for me? For a thief? Yes, Sky. I'm totally enamored by you. <laughs> Much thanks, Milan. You're glowing with a vibrant beauty on this night. And then we just let him go. Oh, but not before he gazes one last time at us. Milan! Who's this? Oh god, Rock brought friends. Vesta, Marlin, and Celia even came to help with the ambush. And then... Oh, we let him get away. He had a crowd of people chasing after him. Phantom Sky slipped right by us. We think he went this way. Uh, did he? No, I did not see him. You didn't see him? That thief's awfully slick. But he couldn't have gotten too far. Well, maybe he went on over there. And then they ran over there. It's really late. Time to go home and go to sleep. Alright, next day. <laughs> and at least I don't have to worry about the weather, luckily, because it just threw me to bed. Tomorrow's weather is a sunny day, because tomorrow is the fireworks festival. So yeah, that's the last event with Sky. You... I don't know if he actually stole anything, but you let him get away with the crime. You don't let him get caught. <laughs> I guess that's kind of romantic. In his own way, but yeah, you're kind of like his partner in crime now. <laughs> Alright, no more. No more Sky. I think he's probably gonna stay away from the valley for a few days, as usual. After his, uh... Heart events. Hurt. Yeah, we should be able to woo him again after a few days. Just need to get him to orange and then red. We got some more yams. Level 11 yams. We're gonna plant some more over here. Today is also a gray day. Let's make him a baked corn. Check recipe, oven, baked corn. Okay, I need to probably rearrange the, the thing because I have different level of corn that I need to cook with. Okay. Baked corn is done. For the last time, no change. Also no change. Updated the recipe. One time where I need to update the recipe. Let's say hi. Let's just go on ahead and say hi to Gray and Kai while they're together. Best boyfriends. Here you go, Gray. It smells so good. Oh, baked corn. Thank you. <laughs> Grandpa's around so I can take it easy. And of course, we need a pineapple for Kai. Wonder if we'll get him to yellow before summer's over. It's a pineapple, is it for me? Thanks, I love it. M maybe barely with the affection that we get, get from the fireworks festival. But definitely won't get any higher than that. Well, anywho. Get on with our chores. Oh, actually, let's give a gift to the harvest goddess. Alright, so there is an event I do want to get today. Um, try not to miss it. Yes, yes, you love the gift. You're probably very high on infection, giving you lots of strawberries. Yeah, there is an event I do want to get today. It's very hard to activate because... This random event requires that it be a Thursday and a van day at the same time. And it's very rare that, like, you get those those stars to align. <laughs> it being both a Thursday and a van day. I mean, not as hard as it being, um... Both... Okay, level 7 tomato. And not as, like, hard as it being... Uh, both, 
a Mineral Town Bachelor uh, birthday, though. Very rare that you get to celebrate their birthday. I gotta think of the right words. My brain is waiting right now. This is your mind on games. <laughs> They said it would melt my brain, and it did. I need more of this. Some tomato seeds. I should actually plant this right now. Also, need some yam seeds too. recovery at night to the sky event. Right, I'm not sure which of these tomatoes are better leveled. I'll just take out one of these. I'll put... Are you not leveled up? Weird. It doesn't show the level. I wonder if that's a glitch. Let's find out. Gonna find out if they're turned into level two tomatoes. If it does, then that means that means tomatoes won't really be economically viable. Maybe it's just an error with the text. Okay. We are ready to milk. Time to milk our cows. Yep, this is my pond. I didn't put any fish in there. Guys, I need you to love me, so you give me bigger eggs. Can I get this duck egg? A very bad spot. Thank you. Thank you for the egg. Can I offer you an egg in this trying time? be so close to getting the service right. Just like begging the game, like please <laughs> let this end. Stop. Let this end so I can go into a different hell of cheering sheep instead. 700 times total. How's my farm degree? Ugh, still level 10 apprentice. I want to get to farm chief. I feel like it's very rare that I ever see myself break out of the apprentice stage and get to the like the actual farm titles. The farm title stages. That means I can get some new uh wallpaper for my for my house. I mean I do like the bubblegum theme. The pastelli pinks and purples are very I very pleasing to the eye. We should definitely change things up every once in a while. So glad that they have those wallpapers in the girl version. <laughs> like the boy version's house just seems very drab in comparison. I know it's pretty much just modeled after the Mineral Town house, but yeah, just getting that extra option or that extra color is just great. Ooh, you know what I forgot? I totally forgot about my fruit trees. <laughs> I don't think I even checked on them once last episode. Hmm. I do that now. I have like one more week to harvest those fruits. And then I gotta decide if I'm gonna replant them or sell. Sell the fruit. I like to replant them. He's growing all, the, all over the place. The only downsize is, uh,. You have to keep the area around there clean. 
Can't really use the axe, lest you risk, risk uh, destroying your tree. <laughs> so stuffy. I don't like the sniffling. The sniffling, sneezing. Do, 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 do. Seems like our little mini heat wave in winter is is over. <laughs> I'm a little bit worried. I'm just like, it's freaking 90 and it's uh mid-February. What's going on? <laughs> yeah, it's just got some cooler days now. It's like seriously contemplating going to my parents and going swimming in the middle of February. Like my parents don't heat up the pool. It's just like whatever temperature it gets to via sunshine is like what it is. Still kind of contemplating going in the cold, like, maybe if I just, like, power through it. It's like an endurance exercise. Some of this. Some of this. I got my crops. They're definitely ready to harvest. And up around here. Got the grapes and the apples that are going to become harvestable in fall. Got lots of oranges. I could definitely plant the oranges. I have so many oranges. But yeah, it's like a, it's kind of a thing that I just kind of want to plant the trees all at the same time. Boink. Clean things up. Also, limited time to collect these herbages. Get charge. So nice to just clean everything up in one go. All right, it's about time for this event. Okay, so we probably have to wait for Murray to go into the inn. This is an event that involves Murray. Um, we have to go to the inner inn on the second floor, the back hallway. Between 1.45 and 5 p.m. on a Thursday on Van Visitation Days. <laughs> and Van has to have 100 plus friendship with us. And we got it. We got... Alright, well, first we're gonna confront Van, I guess. Oh, Milan, welcome in. I have something for you today that I think you're going to like, Milan. <laughs> Here's what, here, what do you think? It's quite a fancy food. Where was it kept? Please wait. It's like, oh, I think I might have eaten it. Oh, well, Murray is sneaking up behind me. Oh, okay, you can go in front, I guess. Here it is. This is it. Once you've eaten it, you'll be hooked for life. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Wah! And Murray runs off with it. All I hope it was, wasn't too expensive. Not again. <laughs> no, this happened before. This guy yoinked. Thief! Catch him! He's Murray's a real thief. He's a real phantom thief. How many times is this? Sorry, Milan. Please let me be alone for a while. Oh no, he's absolutely heartbroken. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> That's the event. It's called Attacked. Um, right? It's, yeah, it's called Attacked. I think it's. I think there's actually a second part to this. But yeah, we got the first part right now. Not sure when the second part is. Uh, actually, let, let me let me double check when part two is. Part two. Okay, we could probably actually see this on next van day. It's not really exclusive to a specific day. Unless it just lets us activate it right away. They don't usually let us activate both parts at the same time, though. Okay, we'll probably see the next event on the 28th. Okay. Poor van. <laughs> Pity. <laughs> Pity him. He's just trying to show us some, like, fancy food he found. I wonder what he was trying to show us. Fancy food. 
sensible food was he going to offer us? We okay. <laughs> Kill my stamina. Yeah, I think I'm gonna plant my trees here. Don't know why I'm cleaning up this area now. Because <laughs> it's gonna get filled up again. Beautiful. You know what? I'm gonna go to the hot springs while I think. Alright, maybe I should see Kira today? Should I go spelunkin'? It's usually a quick trip, right? our final act for the episode, I'll go see some fireworks. Yes, fireworks! <laughs> let's think of, uh, let's think of, uh, AI, Somnian Files, the last part where I was talking about fireworks. You know, if you like fireworks, you might be a psychopath. <laughs> Not sure how long I've been in there. I've been marinating in that path. Very good on stamina. Why are we saving over? Saving over Philo one today. I do have. Like, I have two more golden lumber. Like I, I do have that right. Was the hole? And if there is no hole, just dig up the stairs. There it is. 53. I'll take it. I won't, I won't be too picky. I have a feeling I'm gonna find another hole here. <laughs> I believe in the holes. Be a little bit more organized with the. <laughs> and then I just get totally turned around. want to show themselves. Oh no. There's <laughs> too many. Too many creatures. Stay back. Not all of them. Jeez. They got right up in their business. Okay, really? You're not gonna give me the hole. Fine, it's like hiding. It's hiding beneath. Hiding beneath uh, a rock, I suppose. Dig up the stairs. I guess I should have saved scummed on the other floor. No, just RNG. Generated floorage. I think with all these events we get, we'll get enough farm degree points. Look at this. We'll get enough farm degree points. Oops. Expecting to actually uncover the stairs. What was I saying? Trying to complete my thought. Just get enough farm degree points! Do I get to farm chief? Please let me just hit the rock. I just want to get through. Let me through! Really? No hole? Okay, it's right there. 34. I'm not gonna be too picky right now. I'll take it. If it's like something like 10 floors, I'll be like, ah, screw you, Gabe. Okay, that's kind of a low drop. I know you can do better than that game. That is. What was that like? That was hardly anything. 209. That's pretty darn good. Drop. See if I can get like 50 floors, and then it'll be it'll be good. Be a little bit generous with the amount of body jars that we drink. We have more in the fridge. I thought I bought a bunch. Oh, it fall, it fall, it fall. Place you least expect. No? No? All the 
of space and no hole. All right, fine. I'll just dig up the stairs. Mm. Getting hungry again. I feel like I just ate. <laughs> The hunger of boredom. So I just have to make myself a sandwich. Don't really have that much variety right now. Oh, that was a hole. Here. That's a little bit too deep. Oh, that's perfect. That is perfect. Please don't fall down. <laughs> Please don't fall down a hole. Oh no, the butterfly! <laughs> feed myself and I need to find my tortoise too and have him eat although he woke up because of like the heat wave and he's probably like gone back to sleep now though <sighs> stairs <laughs> go down very dangerous I haven't saved in a bit okay there's the stairs My boyfriend actually took him to like a proper vet. <laughs> took him to like his old work before. And like the vet there like does see some exotics, but I don't think he's familiar with like all exotics. So my boyfriend has like a new job at a different clinic. And this guy knows a little bit more about tortoises. He estimated my tortoise's age to be around 70. <laughs> Oh, wow. He can live- and this breed of tortoise, like, can live up to 120. I'm just like, hmm. Is he gonna die within my lifetime? Because, yeah, he's like my grandpa's tortoise. Like my grandpa found him in, like, 1968, he said. He found him just crossing the street. Crossing a busy street. So, like, he was probably gonna get run over at some point. And, like, my grandpa just kind of took pity on him and he knew that his wife, like, aka my grandma, really liked animals, so he just, like, brought it home as a pet. He himself does not like animals. Like, my grandpa did, did, did not like animals, but it was, like, a requirement to, like, marry my grandma that they have animals in the house. Um, 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 she seems really happy. Riding something. My Yasumi. Okay, so, yeah, my tortoise. Nick is... When he was found, he was probably around 16 years old-ish, if we, if we just assume he's 70 right now. But yeah, he was with my, my grandpa for a while. Not a young tortoise anymore. But yeah, the vet commented, commented that he's also very docile for a tortoise. He's like, yeah, he, like, he didn't like try to bite me or anything. <laughs> Let me pick up, just like, work with his head. And like zero aggression. I was like, oh, that's good. I don't know if he likes me, but he seems to recognize that I'm like the food giver. Kind of looks at me when I come outside, just like, are you gonna drop food or something? I'm just... Let's see actually clean up a bit. I know I'm gonna just probably destroy a lot of herbs in the process, but I just feel the need to clean. Yeah, this looks a lot better. Better. Yeah. This <laughs> is like I kind of feel bad, or like I feel like people would probably judge me for having like this like specific breed of tortoise. It's a California desert tortoise, but like when I think about it, yeah, if my grandpa did not pick him up back then, he probably would be dead. Because that area that he picked him up from, it's no longer, like, desert anymore. It's, like, all developed houses. <laughs> so, yeah, Mr. Tortoise probably would have definitely been turtle soup. Would have been smooshed. kind of wonder if I, like, I could breed him to make more little tortoises, but... <laughs> 
I think a while ago, my grandpa, my grandma and grandpa said they tried to like breed him with like another friend's tortoise. And like he wasn't really interested. I think I remember reading a paper that said like male tortoises that like are kind of raised in captivity aren't that interested in breeding as like wild tortoises. They just like kind of lose that urge. <laughs> That's why they also I don't think Sky is coming. He's not coming. Alright, so we're gonna go we're gonna go to bed. But yeah, like some conservation efforts trying to like reintroduce tortoises to certain habitats are like Yeah, we tried we tried releasing like male tortoises and they actually like the captive ones would just outcompete the wild ones for food. All the while, just like not breeding with the females. The females that were bred in captivity, like they would, they would breed just fine and produce offspring. But like for some reason, the male cap, the, the males bred in captivity are just like, no, <laughs> not gonna. Alright, so today is the fireworks festival. It starts at six, so we got a lot of time ourselves. Right, I think I'm gonna water. Oh, I fucked with water. Oh, I think my tortoise has a good life. Doesn't have to really worry about being attacked. <laughs> he gets food. He has a nice yard. He has a really nice yard. <laughs> Before my parents were keeping him like cooped up on like the side of the house. Cause first it was like dogs, and then it was like, oh, pool. Fortis cannot swim. Believe me, they cannot swim. I just, I get so horrified when I see like social media like posts or like videos of people just like Chucking a tortoise into a pond and being like, I saved it! I was like, oh god no, you just killed that tortoise! It's not a turtle, it can't swim! <laughs> but yeah, it's like, they're worried about it falling in the pool. But now it's like at my house. Where I live, and we have, we have a really big yard for it. And he always gets lost. I just like, it's a lot of times I don't know where he, where he went. The only thing we can do is give a gift to the goddess today. We have so much stuff. I don't know what to do with all this stuff. We can get rid of some stuff. Let's see, Milan, so you came. I'll accept it. Thank you. By the way, I absolutely love that offering you gave me. Well, toodles! Alright, right, I'll water these tomatoes. some more tomatoes out of the season. Yeah, my tortoise has a really big yard. He goes on adventures, he gets lost. We tried it so hard to like keep him away from certain areas though. Like we don't want him digging under the fence. Don't want him to get to the neighbor's yard. Our neighbor has some like really vicious dogs. Also worry about my cat getting out. Cause she has gotten used to being an outdoor cat while she was living with my parents. Afraid of like she somehow escaped. She would somehow make her way around next door and like get attacked by a dog. Don't want that to happen. Cause like at the old house that she lived in. Um really didn't have that many vicious dogs. Um, they were just all kind of wimpy dogs like poodles or york- like little mini toy poodles or yorkies. And the only thing like they have to worry about were like wild animals like coyotes or like possums and raccoons which I suppose would be probably more dangerous but those don't typically hang out in people's yards. At least not coyotes. Raccoons yes. Raccoons are- Little, little devils, little bandits. They get mean, man. 
And my mom said, like, as soon as I took my... my cat home, and she stopped leaving food outside, there was, like, a family of angry... of angry raccoons, like, outside the door. Just demanding the cat food be put back down. <laughs> and my cat Igor was just, like, flipping the heck out. Because <laughs> there was a bunch of raccoons at the door. <laughs> Igor stayed with my parents. He was he was mean to my cat Sybil when let her back in the house. So keeping them separate. There's a lot of herbs in my back too. I think I am ready to just take care of my animals though. <laughs> I kind of feel like, with all this rubbing, I kind of feel like there's scratches being etched into the screen protector now. <laughs> At least it's the screen protector though, not the actual screen. I definitely don't want to have to replace this 3DS. Yes, there's some news recently that Nintendo is officially closing the American Wii U and 3DS eShop next year in March, so like you better get your games that you want. I'm contemplating buying like rebuying some games. I do have like I do have games on my like my 3DS. But it's like on the separate 3DS, my main 3DS, but I don't have um Downloaded on this 3DS. So I gotta make sure that I get like all the digital content, like the DLC that I can on this 3DS. I gotta like make a separate Nintendo account. I, I really don't wanna <laughs> transfer everything from my old 3DS to this one, because it'd be kind of weird just like. Because my main 3DS is a new 3DS, well, the one that has a capture card installed onto it is just a regular 3DS, it'd be just kind of weird to downgrade like that. Plus, I'm not gonna really use this 3DS for, like, casual play, because I don't want to wear it out. I, like, I only specifically use this for Let's Plays. While I do everything else on, like, my actual 3DS, my regular one. My regular new 3DS. <laughs> Yeah, that was such like a horrible naming convention. It was like Wii and Wii U and then like 3DS and the new 3DS. Like no wonder people got confused. Like and the sales got tanked. And like people didn't know what was like an actual new console or just like a like a minor upgrade. <laughs> And when it's kids, like, asking their parents for stuff, for, like, Christmas and junk, they're, like, they're not gonna understand all this terminology. I think, like, mainly the only people who bought the Wii U were just, like, already Nintendo fans. If it was kids, like, asking their parents for, like, the new console, the parents probably, like, went out saw the price of like a Wii versus the price of a Wii U and just like went with the, the cheaper one. <laughs> like, oh, it's the same thing, Timmy. No, it's not. Okay. All milked out. Now what the heck are we gonna do? We're just gonna sit in the bathtub. Gonna sit in the hot springs until the fireworks festival. Let me tell you a story. <laughs> Have I been, okay, yeah, I did read a new story, a new folk tale. It's been a while since I cracked open that book. So, well, a few days, rather. This one's actually short. I think it's... Oh, 
What was the tale from? Guyana? It's spelled differently. It's like G U Y A Y A N A or G U I A N A. And it's called the Mermaid Lake. It starts off with um this Indian captain slash chief slash priest. Probably they probably meant to say like like, a, he's a person, he's a man of high standing. He just, like, happened to be also be, like, a Pia priest. And he had this beautiful young daughter. Um, and kind of just let her do whatever she wanted. And his daughter would always go down to the river and play with, like, this companion. And they really didn't think about much about it first, because, like, the companion looked like it was just a girl of her own age. But then one day, she, the girl went missing. And... The father went to go search for his daughter by... weaving around a magic gourd around the river where she, like, used to play, and then... followed the river down a passage to a lake. And he continued shaking his magic gourds, and then he saw... They refer to it as both a mermaid and a merman, because apparently, um, in Guiana folklore, um, mermaids are hermaphrodites, so they're both. And the mermaid man started to, like, taunt, taunt the man and taunt the priest, and he got so enraged that he, like, took out his bow and, like, put three arrows <laughs> into the mermaid, both in his head, chest, and tail. And just as he thought he killed the creature, um, his daughter came swimming out of the out of the lake and pulled out the arrows out of her merman lover. They, I guess she went willingly with him. And the father was so enraged that she that he went into the water and started thrashing around with his cutlass until he just made the water all frothy and then he died. But the girl and the merman, mermaid man, survived. And she lived with her lover forever and ever after that. It's like a really weird tale. Yeah, I wasn't sure if the, the mermaid was like the bad guy in this situation, because like I mean the the daughter went willingly with him. I guess he, he was seduced, but like it did say that the daughter, like, sort of just lived happily ever after and, like, actually had children and, like, they were descendant of, like, this, this merman. But yeah, usually in other folk tales, they talk about, like, mermaids, like, being kind of like sirens, just luring sailors to their doom. <laughs> yeah, this is, like, a different mermaid tale, I guess. It's very confusing, because, like... The mermaid kind of shapeshifted. Like, I guess when the daughter was a young girl, um, the mermaid was also a young girl. But then, like, as the daughter grew older, he became, like, older as well and became, like, a man to be, like, her lover. Alright, it is six. Cannot forget to go to the fireworks festival. Alright, I don't really need to talk to any of the other boys. We kind of already talked to them before. Last year, I'm just gonna talk to Kai because I believe he's the only one who we can ask to see the fireworks. Summer fireworks is fireworks season. I can't wait for the show to start. Invite to fireworks show? Yes, invite. Ah, oh, this is nice. Watching with someone's nicer. All right, I'm so glad that I got someone to green heart so I can do this with them. Oh, this really feels like summer now. Summer is really the best time of year. Does it really feel like summer now? Summer's almost over. It's gonna be over in like a week. Then I won't be able to see you until next year. <laughs> Watching fireworks on the beach is the best. And that's the event. <laughs> nice and short, because I didn't talk to anyone else. 
uh, weather. I forgot to say before going to the fireworks festival, but luckily it is a sunny day. How are we doing on time? Okay, we've been playing for an hour. I guess I should probably make sure everything's all watered for now. We're launching into the day. Okay, I want to keep this can filled up because I'm a little bit paranoid of letting it empty out. <laughs> like it'll empty out and just like magically stop working. The blessed glitch. I should probably ask Ray to upgrade my watering can soon. Yeah, like do or die. Like do I want to risk it? <laughs> Could glitch it. Biscuit for the biscuit. Alright, we are going to make a curry for Cliff. It is a Cliff day. Right, curry rice is done. Committed last time. No change. Also no change. Keep it either or. Don't really have to make anything else. Give gifts to the boys. Boys, while we remember. You know me well, I love this. It reminds me of the inn at Mineral Town. Here you go, Kai. Oh, lovely seeing the fireworks with you yesterday. Yeah, I don't think that gave him that big of a boost. Alright, we might barely get him to yellow, but you might not be able to see his yellow event this year. But definitely next year is an option. Let's water my crops. Gather these tomatoes. Will be the last of the season. Do, 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 do. I definitely want to have a back stock of these in case accidents happen. There go, another gift for the goddess. Oh, it's you, Milan, so you came. I'll accept it, thank you. By the way, I absolutely love that offering you gave me. Well, toodles. Hello. And let's just make sure I water my mushrooms. Water. Oh, there's another toadstool I could have harvested. Can I harvest this one? No. It's it's so hard to tell like when it's big or not, or big enough to harvest rather. Okay, doke. Well, I think we are pretty set for the minor crop chores. So of course, when we start next episode, we will get on with. The animal care. Alright, we already looked at the weather. Yeah, we are we're all set to go. Save. We're getting, yeah, we're saving over file one. Need to stretch out my, my arms, my shoulders. Okie doke. Save complete. Well, I hope you guys had a relaxing time. And I'll see you in the next episode. Uh, bye-bye.